In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the property line tool. I've uh, started a new file, a new project, and I'm currently on the site view, and I'm on the massing and site ribbon, and it's there that I'll find the property line tool. So I'm going to click on that, and it will give me two possibilities um, for ways to generate these property lines. One is to create by sketching, and you would simply begin drawing lines and defining the distances for those lines. Or you can create one by entering distances and bearings. So if you are provided with a survey, for example, you might want to begin with this method of generating the property lines. So what you do is you begin just inserting um, objects to the list in the form of lines, and they can be either straight lines or, or radial. Um, it will start with one, one sort of position, um, a line of, of zero length. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this distance to 200 feet, and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK to see what happens. All right, when I do that, it is giving me the opportunity to place this line, and I'm just going to click somewhere over here on the left. Okay, You'll see a message that comes up that says it doesn't form a closed loop uh, because it's only one line, so the area cannot be computed, and that's okay because I'm going to add more to it. So I'm going to close that, and while it's highlighted, it's, it's blue, I can click on Edit Table, and I can begin to add more uh, more lines to my property line definition. Um, so I'm going to click on insert. Okay. Now this first step direction is always going to be north or south. Um, my next line, what I want to do is create a line that is 150 feet in this direction. So I'm going to change that length and then I'm going to click on OK. Alright, so what it's done is it has, and I'm going to zoom out by right clicking and clicking zoom out is it's created this line. Now I'll go back to the edit table just so you can see a few um, things that you might want to change in case you have let's say an, an angle to to some of the line work in your in your site plan. If I change this to 45 and I say OK it's going to generate a 45 degree line relative to that east direction. Okay, if I was, say, to change this to south, and I say, okay, it's going to drop it to a southern um, direction. If I was to change the value to, say, 30 degrees, it's going to generate a 30 degree line relative to a sort of north-south axis. Okay, so I'm going to change it back to the direction that I wanted to go, which was 150 degrees towards um, towards the north and say OK. All right now from there I'll begin to add a few other lines. Let's click on insert. It's going to generate another one. This time I'm going to go to the west and I'm going to change this bearing to 90 degrees and this one will also be 200 and let's see what happens. Okay there's my third line. When I click on edit table again I can click on Add Line to Close, okay, and say OK. So it will complete the rectangle. And you can have as many lines as you want. You can generate curves within those. These lines can be angled. It really depends on your site conditions.